the Honorable Honor Magic Watch 2, a 1.2 inch smartwatch with onboard SPO2 monitor, inbuilt GPS, and so much more. This is the latest addition to the Magic Watch series. And today, we'll dig into the details and decide if it is the super smart fitness tracker without the super high price tag. Just before we get into it though, we have placed timestamps in the description below the video. So if you want to skip through to any part of the video, feel free to do that. As you can see, the watch is presented in a squarish box and it seems size does matter because the watch box is on the larger side. In fact, Garmin sport watch boxes come to mind. Inside, we have the actual watch on the left and in the compartment on the right, we have the USB-C cable and charging dock. So far, so good. The look and feel is premium enough. There are two versions of the Magic Watch available, 42 and 46 millimeters. And we're looking at the smaller, more lightweight 42 millimeter version today. You can get it in two colors, agate black as in front of us today, or the Sakura gold. It's priced low, like really low. For all the cool features and true value the Magic Watch 2 brings to the table, it's cheaper than anything we've seen on the market from the premium smartwatch brands. For as low as $150 or £130, you get a lot. So let's break it down into the usual sections and kick off with design. The black finish of the case is slightly glossy and thankfully it's not plastic, but metal. In fact, the case is made of refined 316L stainless steel. This steel grade is actually aerospace industry grade. The casing should now, well, hopefully, be able to resist nicks and scratches from everyday wear. But I think it's mostly been used because the 316L steel grade is less susceptible to rusting. And considering the watch is waterproof, you will most likely take it in, in the shower, go pool swimming in it, and some may even take it for open water swimming because the Magic Watch 2 does have inbuilt GPS. The watch has a pleasantly solid feel to it. It is not feather light, but at 29 grams, it sits very comfortably on your wrist. It looks slender, but monolithic at the same time. The two buttons on the side add flavor to the watch face complexion. They are elegant enough to sustain a more classy rather than a full on sport watch feel to the watch. But that's not to say the Magic 2 is short on sport watch functions. It has many more than we have expected, but we'll get onto that later in the review. On the back of the watch case, you have the heart rate sensor. It protrudes from the watch back, but still feels good on your wrist. The band on the watch is jet black. It's 20 millimeters wide and is easily replaceable with the similar bands. The band easily clicks into place like so. Having worn the watch for about a week now, I can say it's wide enough to keep the watch from sliding on top of your wrist and the silicon feels premium. It has a velvety smooth feel to it. Another thumbs up is the classic watch clasp. You can see the honor engraving here. The clasp is cool to the touch and is also slightly glossy, but I just can't tell if it's metal or plastic. Either way, it looks and feels solid enough. Let's jump onto the display now. The display is a 1.2 inch always on AMOLED display. It stays lit so you can glance at the time without the screen taking time to brighten. But in order to save battery life, you can switch this function off. You can actually dig into the settings and find the brightness options. There are five brightness levels plus an auto brightness setting, which uses a light sensor to give you just the right level of brightness for different settings and saving your battery juice in the midst of it all. The resolution is up there with the best in class. With 390 by 390 pixels, you get a PPI of 326. So in comparison, you have the Apple Watch Series 5 with the same 326 PPI display. Just look at that screen. The blacks are very deep. The detail on the watch face is spectacular. And as you can see, there's no issues with the reading values off the screen outdoors. Interface navigation supports the up, down, left, right swiping, touch and touch and hold commands. So if you have decided to upgrade from a fitness band or tracker, the interface will be easy to get accustomed to. The watch is packed with health and fitness features. Firstly, we'd like to mention the SpO2 monitor, which provides on-demand measurement of the oxygen saturation level in your blood. This is a crucial addition 
considering this medical tech feature can forewarn of respiratory conditions. As we have mentioned earlier, the watch has inbuilt GPS. In fact, the GPS setup is not basic. The Magic Watch 2 strives to show off its sporty nature under the elegancy of a classic watch design. It includes a dual satellite positioning system, both GPS and GLONASS. On top, it has an altimeter. So, when out for a run, a walk or a bike adventure, your positioning should be much more accurate. Essentially, you don't need to take your phone with you on the runs, trails, etc. Going for runs without your phone with you leads us onto music controls. Because the watch has a 4GB in-house storage and allows for 2GB allocated to offline music storage, you don't need a phone with you to keep you entertained on the runs, cycling or hiking trips. Right, let's talk activity features. There are 15 preset activity modes ranging from the outdoor and indoor running and cycling to rowing and triathlon mode. Now, for the sport enthusiasts, this will be a welcome function as the triathlon mode allows you to switch exercises with just one push of the lower button. There is also an exciting option of racing yourself and the visuals are so smooth that you just want to get outside and run, run, run. We can see how well the fitness features were thought through because you can actually delete any presets you don't use too often and add new ones. The additional sports and activities are distinguished into several categories. Indoor, fun, sports, water, winter and extreme. And every segment has a whole array of available widgets such as yoga, karate, tai chi, horse riding, high intensity interval training aka HIIT and so much more. Magic Watch 2 continues to amaze us with a dedicated app for running which has 13 levels and can train you up from a complete newbie in running to becoming serious about fitness and even do hit run sessions. The routes available have Bluetooth voiceovers and haptic vibrations that help you keep on track. Now I would like to particularly mention water sports. The Magic Watch attempts something extra cool here. Not only is the watch calculating your swolf, distance, speed and recognize you as a stroke, it attempts to measure your heart rate in the water. Now this of course does have a set of caveats that can affect your readings such as water flow, type of stroke and so forth. Nonetheless, the effort in this direction is noted and appreciated. And now we can look at health and lifestyle widgets. Magic Watch 2 allows you to manage everyday stress level with Huawei True Relax, calming your mind through a series of breathing exercises within the breathing app. The Magic Watch 2 helps you understand your sleep patterns better by using Huawei True Sleep technology, which is actually certified by the Harvard Medical School. This tech provides you with details on light and deep sleep, REM, and even supplies personalized insights on how to get a better night's sleep. Honor tells us that the Magic Watch 2 battery should last around seven days. Well, our experience was such as soon as we got the watch, I charged it up to 100% and started wearing it. Everywhere I went, I slept with it too. I've had the GPS on for at least 5 hours during the runs and walks. I have really gone wild with trying out features and functions of the watch. This usually really drains battery juice, but the battery lasted for 5 days straight. The charging dock looks a lot like the Samsung Galaxy Active Charger, but if that one is a wireless pad, Honor has a USB-C cable connected to a magnetic charging pad that fastens securely to the back of the Magic 2. Zero to full charge should take you about an hour or just over an hour. Let's take a quick look at OS and connectivity. The Magic Watch 2 uses Bluetooth 5.1 and is compatible with Android 4.4 or later or iOS 9 or later. In regards to iOS, let me mention some small print. I personally use iPhone 11 and have noticed some things that don't align with the Android experience. First of all, you miss out on the personalized faces. This is where the watch basically brings up your photos to the screen face. Very cool feature, but iPhones unfortunately miss out. Another thing iPhone users miss out on is the music controls, as the watch requires Android smartphones that support Huawei music. Hopefully Honor will fix this in future software updates. 
Notifications span across the whole screen and are easy to read on the bright and high contrast display. All in all, the Magic Watch 2 impressed us with the amount of cool features it brings to the table. It's a great AMOLED screen. The interface is smooth and operates in a logical pattern. Smart features make the watch stylish and useful, but the sports watch abilities of the watch are on the verge of revolutionary. At Wesnos, we're always in search of wearables that provide most value, but we're yet to find a fitness watch that packs so much in such a low-priced package. If you have enjoyed watching our video review, please push the subscribe button below the video and keep watching us for more honest reviews.